for cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBankUT and make sure to use code POODLE at checkout for 15% off. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. And today I'm going to be going over something that I think is very important that if you don't already know, or you might just not be conscious of it right now because this is going to be regarded prepping for Madden 20. So you might be thinking this is too early, right? Why are we talking about Madden 20? Well, first off, a lot of people are done with Madden 19, so that's why I'm talking about Madden 20. Second, we're at a point in the year where a lot of people do some very stupid stuff without thinking for the future. And I know right now it's fun, but in about like six months when we're Madden 20 starts, you're going to regret it. Like I regret every year. There's always a few things I regret every year. One thing is never doing solos or doing or collecting pieces that add up later in the year. Like every year since Madden 14, I've been saying I'm going to get those team of the week collectibles. I'm getting my free team of the year player. This year, five years later, was the first time I've ever gotten it. Because every year, I always I always do stupid stuff. I just, I don't care. I'm not playing Madden anymore. So don't make the same mistakes that I'm making. Prep for Madden 20. You could prep for Madden 20 right now. So first off, a few things you could do. If you're done playing the game, don't waste your money on packs, okay? Don't don't spend your, your coins on packs. You, you say you made all those coins. There's two things you could do. First off, option one, if you really don't Madden, sell your coins to a coin sponsor or something. Spell them to anyone. Coin bank, which is mine, sell it, sell them coins because get some cash value back. Think about that. You put hours into this game, real money. Is it worth buying a few packs, getting three minutes of satisfaction to pull Gunther, the 72 outside linebacker? Just sell the coins. Go sell them off. And put that money away for bills, your car payment, your job, going out with your girlfriend, going out with your friend, anything. Or put it away and say, you know what? There's a separate fund for next year's packs. There's a hundred dollars of coins I got, I'm gonna put it away. And next year, Madden 20 comes, we're going on a nice pack opening the first week or buying coins. Now, the second thing, which I think is the most important, which is why I was saving it. The thing you really want to be conscious of that no one, everyone always forgets about. I know a lot of people might not, you might have your, your issues with them. But at the end of the day, it's a player that is free and clearly it is useful. It is a Saquon Barkley rookie premiere. Last year in Madden, I said to myself, I'm putting away a million coins, right? And I'm, I'm done playing Madden around January. I'm putting away a million coins. I will come back to this game in the summer when the rookie premiere sets are out, and I will be getting myself a rookie premiere. I did Saquon Barkley, and I did Bradley Chubb. Bradley Chubb, obviously, did not pay off for my team just because of how good my team is. But imagine a 94 overall and a, a 98 overall, actually, powered up and everything. 99 overall card, pretty much. 99 overall running back for using coins that most people didn't even want to have anymore so like right now obviously let's say you have 800 coins a lot of people are like screw it. i saw people in my comments screw it i'm going on a pack opening i'm going on a pack opening i'm done with the stupid game i'm done they spend and then they text me back they're like yo i lost it all i'm out i'm out of coins or people comment i spent 300k on packs they got nothing i'm done with the stupid game i'm quitting this game who wants my coin no no, no. good quit the game sell your entire team okay put those coins away Value them. Let's say you have two million coins or million coins. Sell a million or two million for like a hundred bucks to a coin sponsor. Okay. Put that money away. Put a million or so, or if you want to be really, 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 really on point, take all three million and put it away. And come June, July, whenever they usually do it, I forget when they do rookie premieres. Come on to this game. Do every rookie premiere set. You can maybe get a Dwayne Haskins, a Kyler Murray, um, uh, what's that guy? Nick Bosa. You can get so many good guys, probably, from this. And then next year, you know always one of these rookie premieres usually have a really... They always give the rookie premieres good cards. Even if they're not even doing good. Like Sam Darnold and um, a few of those guys, they all got 93 overall. So imagine when that first promo comes out, like a Frozen promo like they did this year. You can have a whole 93 overall roster, let's say, when they're new cards. Like Obviously, later in the year, they won't help you as much. But imagine when that Froze promo, the Freeze promo came out, and there was the Darnold, the Quentin Nelson, the Barkley... The uh, the Chubb, um, the great uh, Hayden Hurst. Imagine having all those cards on your team. Like imagine you had no team. You didn't spend money on packs. You don't play a lot of the game. You're a parent. You're a kid. You're in school. Imagine having a whole team of 90s for free, pretty much. Or vice versa. You do this stupid thing. Look, you head over here right now. Okay, so I got a million. I have two million coins. I'm gonna buy a hundred gold player packs just like this. Buy a hundred of those. Two hundred. Three hundred of those. I'm gonna waste all my coins. And then look, watch, watch. This is how they're gonna end too. Gold, gold. Okay, so you're gonna get a hundred of these types of packs. Obviously, you might make money back on some, but the house always wins. So you're gonna do that. You're gonna lose all of your coins, all of it, and you're gonna be like, ah, okay. I'm done. Okay, felt good. So a whole year of Madden you've been playing. A whole year. Like you wasted so much time and effort into this game. 
literally so much time and effort into this game. And you're just going to be like, in three seconds, like literally, or even a few minutes, depending on how many coins you have, you, all that harder and hours of grinding, gone. And you have nothing to show for it. Instead, you transfer it to next year. So starting day one next year, you'll have some cards that other people don't have. Like, obviously a lot of people had the rookie premieres, but the ones that don't, like, you have an up already. Like, I had one of the best running backs in the game, which was Saquon, day, like, the first week. It's so worth it. Just take your coins, pile them into a separate fund, and that's it. That's all you got to do. Just don't, don't be done with the coins. I, I just sell them. Like, you could, so much can be done with it. Obviously, $100 and a rookie premieres don't make up for all the time and effort you put into this year. But it's sure as hell better than literally having nothing to show for it. Like, I couldn't imagine right now selling this whole team that I've spent probably, I probably have over a month on this game easily, maybe almost two months on this game. I couldn't imagine getting rid of all of this, popping packs, and that's it. Like, packs are cool, but what fun are packs if you're done with the game? Put the coins away. Go wait for every rookie premiere. Imagine next year you have like a Kyler Murray or Dwayne Haskins, 93 overall. Whatever running back, I can't think of a Nick Bosa, DJ Metcalf, I don't know, whatever that guy's name is. So many good rookies that you could have next year that I can't just aren't coming to my head right now. All those pass rushers, like you could have so many good players. A lineman, a linebacker, that guy, uh, oh my God, the guy in the last year, White, Devin White, I don't know. There's so many good guys. Just wait, don't be done with your coin. I know, I know how, I know how it is. Like I don't play 2K anymore, NBA 2K. So of course I go on there and I spent all my MT on packs. And I regret it, I could have sold that. Like that was just dumb on my part. And I, I won't make the same mistake with Madden, obviously. So just, I know it's hard. I know we're all impatient. We want to see a limited time pull, but for what if we're done with the game? Put it away, and you will thank me later when, come August, your first week, you have a lineup of seven rookie premieres, eight rookie premieres, because you used, you saved every coin. The worst thing about right now is, that this. let me tell you what you're going to do, which is what I do every year. So I see how this team I have, right? Okay, I'm done playing Madden. I don't care anymore. I'm not selling it. I'm too lazy. So you come back. What's today? It's, uh, it's March 7th. So you come back around June. All right, you know what? I'm ready to do these rookie premieres. They just came out. Poodles, or I gotta go get those guys. So you're going to your team. All right, screw I'm selling my team. You go. All right, this Aaron Donald, uh, 30,000 training. Whoa, 30,000 training is worth nothing anymore. All right, Calvin, another another 18,000. Oh, that's worth nothing anymore. This is free. Khalil Mack goes for, uh, oh, Khalil Mack goes for 100K. Kelsey goes for, oh, another 100K. This is, uh, this goes only 200K. Odell's Nat. Oh, that's, this training does nothing like. You don't understand that these cards... I mean, obviously, I'm slightly of an... I'm an anomaly because my team will probably still... I'll, I will have enough value here to get all the rookie premieres no matter what time of, the, time of the year it is. But imagine, like, a lot of people have teams like this. Let me scroll down. Like, a lot of people have teams like this. Like, this Darius Slay, this Telvin Smith, maybe a Lane Johnson, a John Randall. These cards right here would not... Would not get you no more than maybe one rookie premiere. And if it's later in the year, forget it. Because Robbie Gold will be going for, like, 50 to 100K. Not even maybe 50K. This will go for literally no training right here. You do not want to make the mistake of being in market hell in two months when you come back and you're like, all right, time to sell. And they're all going for not even a quarter of what you paid for them. So realistically, you'll get one rookie premiere. If you sell them, just if you're done, like truthfully done, like you've decided. You're, if you're ever going to take a break, in my opinion, you're ever going to take a break from Madden for more than two weeks, three weeks. If you're going to miss a promo, sell your team because your team will drop in value from point A to point B. If it's a week break, no. Two week break, and eh, if it's gonna be over three weeks, sell your team no matter what. Just sell unless it's training, obviously. If it's training and you're gonna lose a big don't don't touch it. But if it's a if you're done with the game, touch it. If you're gonna come back in a few weeks, don't get rid of the training guys. Get rid of the guys with value. So like look, I'll take the I could take the Kelsey off my top value card here. I could take the Mac off, the Johnson off, the Sean Taylor off without ruining the training parts. But the Donald I'll be screwed with. The Ogden, I, I the Ogden I'd be screwed because it's Nat. Barry's uh I could take Barry off. No, he's training actually. I could take Moss. No, Moss is training. Yon does not. So you get what I'm saying? Just don't be dumb. It's not worth it when you're in market hell. I, I've done this every year. I come back in June and I'm like, okay, time to sell the team. And I look at it and it's literally, I'm like, all right, this Vernon Davis, let me go sell it. 55K, what the hell? I paid 400 for him. Kelsey, 100. Like they all sell for, as I, it's horrible to think that my team is worth like 10 million coins. And then I put it with trading everything. I probably put in over like 15, 20 million this year in coins. And then to my team's gonna sell for 400 coins. I got that 400,000. Like, that's crazy. I'd be just depressed seeing that truthfully. So just be smart with your coins. Don't do anything dumb. Go sell them right now. Go hit up CoinBank. Great prices. Go hit them up right now. Sell your coins to them. You can probably get a hundred something dollars plus on all the coins you had. And then on top of that, or, or you do half and half, whatever you wanna do, just, just be smart. It's not worth it. You guys will be thanking me later when you guys have your rookie premiere start next year and you're ready for the Madden 20. Also, Go comment down below. 
what rookie premieres you guys wish to see and which ones you want. I personally would love whatever the Giants are going to be. If it's going to be Kyler Murray or Dwayne Haskins, I would love a Kyler Murray rookie premiere. Will that happen? I don't know. I would love it, though, or, a, or even a Nick Bosa. But, uh, yeah, so comment down below what rookie premieres you guys want. Also, could you guys help get this to... I've, I've never done a like goal before, so that's dropping right now. Um, how about 40 likes? Let's get me 40 likes. You guys have been killing it, actually. I don't even... I have never asked for really likes. I, like, mention it, but I never, like, give you a goal. And you guys consistently get about 20. So, how about 40 likes? And we hit 40 likes. And also, if you've been enjoying my content, go drop the sub. We've had a slow past two days. We were current... We, were, we grew at about 100 subs last week. This week's only, like, 12. It's been kind of bad this week. So, if you guys could go, everyone down below, drop the sub. Let's get me to 1,000 by next month. That is the goal. My goal is to hit 1,000 at some point during April, so if you guys could, that'd be really appreciated if you can go drop the sub. We're at 360. Let's get to 400 by hopefully the end of this weekend if you guys can show some support. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a different take than what I usually do. I usually do market videos, so this is like different for me. This is me giving you some advice. I'm trying to be more creative with it because obviously the market's dying. Madden's dying, so I'm going to try to start giving you guys different content, at, like more of a commentary kind of content, like, like this, like how to prepare for Madden 20. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Drop the sub, 40 likes, and comment down below what we're from you guys want to see. I'm out. See you guys later.